This is your border right here. If you, as you can see, the Texas uh, Border Patrol is cutting the wire so the damn illegals can come across. And the Supreme Court says this is acceptable because you should have to pay for these foreigners. They're giving them an escort, kind of like they did for the January the 6th people. But instead of letting the January the 6th people go, they arrested them, but the illegals go scot-free. Hello, welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. You may have heard by now, your Supreme Court has sided with the Biden regime for the ninth time. This time, Amy Barrett and the fraud known as John Roberts sided with the Biden administration because they said that Texas has no right to put barbed wire fence up to stop the illegals from crossing over the border. Some of the wire fence was on private property. Now, can we just get a couple of myths out the way? First myth we need to get out of the way is that there's a such thing as checks and balances. Let's stop that. Let's also get out of the way pretending as if the Constitution is going to do anything to stop the radical left. And when I say radical left, I'm talking about these rhino Republicans who's acting like Donald Trump is the main enemy. Any rhino, anybody who is now trying to lock Donald Trump up to get him off the ballot while ignoring your country being invaded, they're just as worse as the scumbag liberals. Now, can we stop pretending as, as if Justice Roberts is conservative? Can we stop uh, pretending as Amy Barrett is a conservative? She's a fraud too. How is it possible that it's against our Constitution to allow people to enter into this country at a point that's not designated? And the Supreme Court, who's supposed to have all these smart, intelligent people on there, they decided to side with the Biden administration for the ninth time. How do we even stand a chance in this country? Because the left is radical. Now, you got some people who get upset with Donald Trump's language. I told you about all the Ron DeSantos uh, so-called supporters who was upset because Donald Trump was insulting people. That's your worst thing you got to say. They supposed to say there's a lot of, quote, independent voters who's not going to vote for Donald Trump because they don't like his tone. You're lucky these kind of people was not back in the Civil War. World War I, World War II, because you would have lost every damn fight. They're worried about hurt feelings. I don't remember asking any, anybody asking the soldiers back then, uh, do you want mind hurting anybody's feelings, the Germans' feelings, the, the Russians' feelings? Nobody was worried about hurting any damn feelings. People were worried about winning the war. We're at war right now, and people are more concerned about my tone. Watch. Idiots galore go from video to video trying to tell me about a tone when they're wiping their behind with the Constitution. When you have had a full-fledged invasion. the gate at gate 36 right here, and there goes the group of people who crossed illegally into the United States. They have opened the gate for them. They're heading into the transport van where they will be processed and paroled out into a city near you, guys. So they've opened up. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one minute. I got to stop to thank some people before we continue with this influx of illegal immigrants. My man, Patrick J. McCarran, hit us up for $300 on PayPal. Thank you, my brother. I do appreciate your support because we are here fighting the good fight for freedom. And I do appreciate all your support, Brother Patrick. You've been good to me, my brother. Also, my girl, Brittany Warnick, my sister, hit us up for $10 on our PayPal. Brittany, thank you for all your support and all the years of following me. Also, I'd like to thank my man, Tony Andre, another brother of mine, who's been supporting me for years, hit us up for $60 on PayPal. My man, Tony Andre, or Antoine Andre. <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate all that support. We are here fighting for freedom. And my man, Danny Morales, hit us up for $25 on our cash app. 
God bless you, Danny Morales, my brother. I do appreciate your support. And my man, Richard Newsom. Richard Newsom hit us up for $20 on our cash app. Thank you for all this. We had one more addition to the thank you, and that's Kathy Tully gave us $50 on our PayPal. Thank you so much, Kathy. And God bless you, and thank you for helping us fighting for freedom. Because our deal is that we're going to have a tough time in 2024, and we need every patriot who loves this country to try their best to expose the darkness out there. Now, we got to get back to the story about your country being invaded by illegal immigrants. Are you mad yet? Are you pissed off yet? Because they are trying to destroy your country, and they don't want us speaking about it. They want us to be silent little mouses and sit around and say, well, the government wants to do what's good for us. They don't. They want to destroy you. And thank you guys for helping support us for freedom. God bless you. And stay strong. Anywhere from 8 to 14 million people. We don't even know how many people came across the border. We don't know how many terrorists came across the border. We don't know how many child molesters and rapists came across the border. Or murderers came across the border. We just don't know. But they're not concerned. You know why? Because now you got to be convinced that your government is your worst enemy. And that's including the Supreme Court. How is it possible that we got all these laws on the book, but the laws only apply to law-abiding citizens? The law means nothing to a criminal. See, this is why the Constitution means nothing to the leftists. Rhino leftists, and I mean, Nikki Haley said the other day that she's really not concerned with the prosecution of Donald Trump. She, I told you she's like a streetwalker who will find any John to go home with. That's what Nikki Haley has been reduced to. And the people in South Carolina don't even like Nikki Haley. Get out the race, Nikki Haley. You ain't sent a snowball's chance in hell on winning. But we have a Supreme Court now who's siding with the Biden regime. How can we be confident that they won't side with them when it comes to all these phony indictments against Donald Trump trying to seize his properties? Your government is the enemy. The Supreme Court is the enemy. The so-called elected officials, your governors and everything else is the enemy. See, if the Democrats, if this same thing had happened, say it was a liberal state and the Supreme Court had ruled like this, you know what the, the liberal uh, governor would do? Ignore it. They would ignore it because when, when the Supreme Court, when, during the 2020 election, when the Supreme Court told them to allow the, the, the GOP monitors in there, they ignored the orders. It's against the law to break into the country. It's against the law to run in stores and steal, allegedly. Rob and steal and carjack, but to keep letting criminals out of jail. Hey, if we just keep all the criminals who keep breaking the law locked up, we can reduce the crime by about 60 to 70 percent. It's these repeat offenders we keep letting out of jail. And if we didn't have enough criminals over here already, they're importing more criminals over. How you expect them to abide by the law when they came in the country illegal and they're giving them all kind of free stuff? Did you see what's happening in New York? They're pooping in the trees in the parking lots. They had a porta potty in New York, the school that they kicked the kids out of. That particular porta potty was so filthy, the people who cleaned the porta potty said they refused to clean it anymore because the illegal immigrants are so filthy. They, you go and you go to get in your car, they pooping all outside in your car. They're not wiping their behinds. All kinds of diseases are being spread in this country. And Texas is saying that we want to stop this. Supreme Court said you will not stop them from breaking the law. So in other words, the Supreme Court is assisting Joe Biden in helping the illegals break the damn law. This is your country now. This is your so-called country. When the Supreme Court is siding with the damn illegals who come over, they got more rights than you. Look at all of the millions and billions of dollars we're spending on illegal immigrants. They're spending billions of dollars on illegal immigrants in your country. You don't get free stuff. They get free housing, free schooling. Everything is free with the illegals. And then they'll move you out. They're kicking veterans out to make room for the illegals. They're going in debt housing the illegals. Now, what's the Republicans' motive? Ask the little hall monitor, Adam Kinsler, Liz, Liz Cheney, uh, Mitt Romney, and the rest of these fraudulent GOP members like Fat Chris Bikrini. Ask those people. If you're so concerned about the American citizens, we're being invaded. Inflation is up. Crime is up. And now they're bringing the illegals over because some of those donors, especially with Nikki Haley, 
Her donors want these illegals over for cheap labor. Not that we need cheap labor, because quit acting like they're picking all your fruit. We got machines to do this. But they want you to believe that there's just a humanitarian effort. See, it went from one thing to the next. Remember when Barack Obama did the whole DACA thing? He even said that it was unconstitutional. See, when they say something's unconstitutional, they still break the law. The GOP can have law on their side, and they still won't uphold the law because they're worried about hurt, hurt feelings. Our side is too weak. We're concerned about hurting people's feelings while they're breaking the law. See, when you, when, when you, one of your loved ones get robbed and killed by one of these damn illegals, you'll see. Why is it that these illegals keep on breaking the damn law? You got to ask yourself this question. Why is it possible that they keep breaking the damn law? They break the law because we allow them to break the law. And the GOP don't do a damn thing. What the GOP tries to do is get on TV and fundraise. So now you have the Supreme Court, John Roberts, a Bush appointee, Amy Barrett, a Trump appointee, both supposed to be conservative. Now, we found out a long time ago that John Roberts was not a conservative. Now we're finding out that Amy Barrett is a fraud, too. I don't know how you can justify cutting wire so illegals can break the law. How is this even, how are we even having this discussion? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Some of the wire was on private property. Eagle Pass, they say that we, we, we're not going to allow you to stop us from allowing the illegals to break the law. The people are trying to destroy the country. And the sooner you figure this out, you understand you're at war. When you're at war, you can't worry about hurt feelings. You can't worry about somebody being mean and not being nice enough. I bet you if somebody was trying to kill you, you want somebody, you don't want to buy, let's be nice to the robber. Let's be nice to the carjacker. Somebody breaks in your house, do you want to say, well, let's see what kind of childhood they have. They're seeking asylum by breaking in my house. Is that what you're going to say? No, you're going to want the kind of person. Do you want women, if you have a husband, boyfriend, whatever, do you want him to answer the door for the robber and says, yes, my wife is in here. We have jury over here. Because technically, that's what your government is doing, and that's what the Supreme Court is just saying. It's fine. Let the illegals over. You need some health care? I heard in Denver that there, some of these hospitals are going belly up from all the damn illegals going in there for every damn thing, getting free health care. And this anchor baby mentality was never meant for in the Constitution. I'm sick of this trash. I'm sick of us pretending as if the damn illegals have more rights than us. They don't have more rights than us. And we got to stop pretending like these people are seeking asylum. They come over here, they carry their flag, and they try to force us to do things or act as if they got more rights than us. If you ran from your country, you admitting that your country is not good. But you come over here, you don't want to speak the language, you want to tell us what. They're demanding stuff in New York. They're demanding stuff in Chicago. They're saying what food they want, what a sleeping accommodations they want. And we are allowing our government officials to do this, and we're acting like we're supposed to have more sympathy towards illegals than we have, of course, towards our own damn citizens. It's madness. Don't tell me about the Constitution. Don't tell me anything about upholding the law or uh, the Supreme Court is going to hear something. It's like the Supreme Court is blind. Do you need any more evidence on this right here? Five to four. Justice Roberts. Let's stop calling him Justice, too. John Roberts, a clown. And the clown, Amy Barrett, both voted with the liberals. Now, what does that say? 